you're living in a fishbowl and you may not even know it. My name is Brian, welcome to The Dose. I wanna talk about social media because social media, believe it or not, is a relatively new thing. I mean, if you think about it, the internet has really only been in widespread use now for 20 years. Um, social media has really only been in widespread use now for 10 years ish maybe less for most people they've only been really active in social media for maybe the last five years or so so this is a relatively new technology the danger or the challenge of social media is that everyone is watching you for maybe the first time in your life uh, and I think sometimes we get a little too comfortable with social media and we feel like we can just say whatever we want to say or express our opinions or you know put up pictures or broadcast you know whatever but we forget right that potential employers, potential business partners, clients, neighbors, friends, people we go to church with, everyone is on social media and everyone is watching you. And so for the very first time, you and I are like celebrities. We live in a fishbowl and we're always being watched. And you know how celebrities are notorious for getting their, you know, sticking their foot in their mouths or saying stupid things and it harms their career and that sort of thing. You say, well, that's the price you pay for being famous, right? Well, on a smaller scale, we're all kind of famous now because people are plugged into our lives and they get to see inside of our personal and private lives in many cases. But here's the great thing about social media. Social media is purely voluntary. Unlike a celebrity who's being chased around by the paparazzi who's shooting photographs of them or taking videos of them when they don't want it, everything that's on social media is voluntary. So everything that you put on social media you've decided to put on social media. We just have to be really careful. Um, I'm not suggesting that anyone be someone that they're not. That would be disingenuous, and that's not what I mean. But what I do mean is, if you're in, for example, an emotional state, angry, upset, frustrated, and you go on Facebook and you rant, well, that's out there now. And everyone in your friends list and all of their friends' friends and everybody else has already seen it. You put it on Twitter and it's gone. You can't take it back because it's the internet. Once it's published, it's out there, right? So we've got to be very careful because I think we all would agree that sometimes we say things under certain emotions that we don't, you know, we don't necessarily feel that same way later or we would regret saying that. And in the past, you would say those kinds of things to a friend in confidence or you know, in a small group of friends and you'd be venting and it'd be all okay. The problem is that now people like to vent on social media and it's not to a small select group of friends, it's to the whole wide world and it's out there and it can't be pulled back. So you've got to be careful on social media. You know, the other side is to recognize that you have co-workers, you have potential uh, employers, you have potential bosses, you have potential business partners, you have, you know, potential clients. All of these types of people are on social media and in many cases we're connected with them. So you want to be very careful that you don't do anything that might um, isolate someone or alienate someone or turn someone off and away from you when you're on social media. It just doesn't make any sense. If it's not necessary to say, then it's necessary not to say. <laughs> Does that make sense? Uh, you know, it's, it, we don't have to post on Facebook the picture of, you know, Friday night with a lampshade on your head. But if you do decide to put that out there, it could turn someone off in a potential business relationship. So um, again, social media now has become more, I think, than just a place where we can post photos and those types of things. It's actually become a place where folks do research on other people and look inside the lives of others. And so knowing that now, we have to begin to treat social media just a little differently. And that's the dose, guys. Go out there and have a great week.